think failure is one of those things that so often in the entrepreneur world and in the subscri subscription world and just in general in tech, we sweep it under the rug and we don't talk about it. This is my kind of definition of, of failure, falling short of our own or others expectations or goals. And it's important to remember this is feeling like a failure. It's not actually being a failure, right? So failure will find you. So how do we deal with this stuff? And as I was thinking about this, I was thinking, right, there's that, that mental side of it and perspective, but then there's also the, that tactical side. I realized it's really like the chicken and the egg, right? There's these blurred lines where some things are tactical that lead to changes in perspective. And for some people, changes in perspective leads, leads to changes in action. So I'm gonna go over kind of three things from that 30,000 foot view that I hope will be helpful. Sometimes we can learn from big companies. So when I was at Amazon, the very first week I was there, I had to go and write down what my goals were. And I sat down and wrote down some goals that mapped directly to, to what I do for a living at Amazon. And this was great. When I started Faithbox, I did the same thing with, uh, with my teams. But what I didn't do, is I didn't write down goals for myself. And I think a lot of us get caught up in worrying about our teams and we stop worrying about ourselves. And when you, when you don't have those goals written down, you don't have anything to map your success to, right? Work towards those written goals. They help you separate the noise and opinions that don't matter. Work is not life and life is not work. You are better at creative problem solving when you're not staring the problem directly in the face. You will not hit all of your goals. You're going to fail. And that's just kind of the, it's kind of life, right? YouTube, which is now the second largest search engine in the world, was a failed video dating site at one point. But how can we turn those failures into, into a positive? Write your goals down. When you write down what you want to achieve, it gives you that ability to come back to those later on and figure out what went wrong. Find the silver linings. You should have your own silver linings playbook, right? Like your goals, you've hit them, you don't hit them. If, if they fail, if you fail at them, create new goals that map to those and keep going. Success and failure really are dynamic terms and success to one person can be failure to another and vice versa. Surrounding yourself with people who have the right perspective and can help you change your perspective to that positive one is really important. It comes down to like perspective and perseverance in my, my opinion. If you take nothing else away from this, these two things, there's a little alliteration that makes it easier. Perspective being the mentality side, Healthy habits breed positive perspective. Wherever you are right now, if you're in a place where you're like riding high at Sub Summit, or if you're sitting here and you're like, man, I have so much to do when I get back and I, I met all these people who feel more successful than I do, and you're feeling kind of on that lower side of it, don't worry, like we've all been, been to both sides.